Kia ora, hello and welcome to Pronouncing Te Reo Well uh, with me, uh, Haggis Henderson. Uh, just figuring out who I was there for a second. Uh, this is primarily for physics teachers uh, to get things going because later on we'll be moving into the language that you can use in physics, uh, some of the language you can use in physics anyway. I won't profess to know it all. Uh, but the good thing is, for me, uh, a good kickoff point is the reason why we're doing this, and you wouldn't be here if you didn't have something similar to this in your mind. It shows respect and a sense of fairness. Uh, the language was the first one uh, here on these islands, and it's nice to know it. I'd like to talk about uh, eating an elephant because that's a way of converting one very large problem into many, many small ones that you solve one at a time. And that's a good strategy for solving a big problem. I'd like to talk about vowels, simpler than in English. Uh, Māori is much simpler than English. It may not be apparent for those people who only speak English, but it is the case. Then, uh, in later videos, I'd like to move on. This is what's coming up in the next one or two before we move on to some more ones after that. A reduced list of consonants, but we added two that we uh, haven't got in English. Finding syllables in English, finding syllables in Te Reo Māori. And then I might even sing a little song to help you with this. So, eating an elephant. It's possible, but you'll need a sharp knife, a big deep freezer, uh, and uh, if you've got a mighty appetite, you might only need six or 12 months, but if you're a mere mortal, you probably need a lot more time than that. It's hope nobody ever needs to find out. I like elephants. I don't, and I don't mean between the mashed potatoes and the peas. I like elephants. Um, I'm using English language words here to convey the pronunciation of the vowels in, in Te Reo Māori because that way we go from what we know to what we don't. So I'd like just to kick off with the word far, and uh, I hope you've got tolerant people around you, or you're in a space by yourself, so you can make um, a bit of an idiot of yourself by having a go at these pronunciations. It's nice to be uh, with folk who are tolerant who might be joining in. So the word far, and the next step is to leave off the F and say R. And the third and final step here is to leave off the R at the end and say R. That is the sound of the A in Te Reo Māori consistently, utterly, 100% of the time. And as I might, you might hear me use, uh, now and forever, Amen. Right here, the next one is the letter E. This is a fish hook for many folk because they try and say the letter E. It's not correct. The correct word for picking the sound is the letter, is the word egg. It contains the sound. So say egg. And then say, eh, and that is the sound we want for the letter E. Now the word for the letter I is ski, uh, and then if you leave off the S, you have key, and if you leave off the SK, you get E, and that's the correct sound for the, uh, the letter I. Even though it's the letter I says the sound of the letter E, letter E is eh, and the letter I is E. Uh, the letter O, uh, we're not, don't have an exact perfect one, but we're pretty close. Oh, off. Now, the next one we're going to pronounce is as though we were Queen Elizabeth II. Off, off, off. Wherever, whenever we see the letter O, we say the letter O, like Queen Elizabeth would say O in off, or on, off, or, off, or. Now, this one here, it helps if your nose is wrinkled when you're starting. And I'm going to show you. So, say the word rude, rude. And then leave off the R and say ood. And then leave off the sound at the end of DE and just say ooh. That's the sound of the letter E and, sorry, the letter U in Te Reo Māori. Forever and ever. Amen. Radio. Konga tohu to, macrons. Uh, tohu to means a symbol to stretch, to stretch the sound. So, kaka means poo, kaka means parrot. And keke and keke, one is a cake, one is an armpit. Ki and ki, one is to speak, one is be is to towards. And similarly, we have o, o, and u, u. Now, uh, the vowels are pronounced the same in Te Reo Māori and every other Pacifica language. Espanol, Greek, Italiano, and many other languages around the world. English is the one that's an aberration. Uh, so, in summary, we've got eating an elephant, vowel simpler than in English, and then we're moving on after this into continent, subtracting many and adding in two, finding syllables in Te Reo Māori, a song to close, and maybe I'll see you at the Zoom tutorial for the 
first few minutes or however long you feel you would like to be there for. Even if you don't want to be there, that's fine. Um, it's an offer, not an instruction. Kia ora te whanau, ngā mihi.